Today we're looking at the massacre at Wounded Knee. Hello, welcome to the Daily Bell Ringer. Please don't forget to subscribe and take a look at the questions down in the description. The massacre at Wounded Knee, sometimes called the Battle of Wounded Knee, took place on December 29, 1890 in southwestern South Dakota. The massacre resulted in the deaths of as many as 300 Lakota people, including men, women, and children, when they were attacked by soldiers of the United States Army. The event marked the final clash between the Sioux tribe and federal troops. In the years leading up to the massacre, the United States government and Native American leaders had been attempting to negotiate peace between the two. Before and after the American Civil War, American settlers, following their manifest destiny, had been pushing further and further into the West, pulled there by ambitions of mining for gold and precious metals, or simply to get land. In 1874, gold was discovered in the Black Hills of South Dakota. Americans began to flock to the area and ignored previous treaties and forced the Sioux from their land. Fighting ensued as the Sioux people defended their land and resisted U.S. efforts to force them to move to reservations. Prominent leaders such as Sitting Bull began to lead resistance and try to maintain the Native American way of life. Additionally, as more and more Americans moved west, essential resources for Native American people, such as the buffalo, were hunted to the edge of extinction. Upset by the loss of their land, resources, and way of life, Native American groups who had been forced to move to reservations began to protest. One form of protest was the ghost dance. The ghost dance was a ceremony in which many Native Americans performed a circle dance that rejected American culture. It also called on their ancestors to return and help to stop white settlers from further encroaching into the West, and also called on restoring Native American culture. The dance became a movement from the late 1880s into 1890 as many tribes in the West began to regularly perform the ceremony. In February of 1890, the U.S. government broke part of a treaty with the Lakota and divided up the Great Sioux Reservation in western South Dakota into five smaller reservations. The land would be divided among Native American families, and they were expected to learn to farm using quote-unquote American methods, and additionally were expected to send their children to government-run schools to learn American ideas. Thousands of U.S. troops were dispatched to the region to ensure that these new rules were being followed. Needless to say, tensions began to rise between Native Americans and U.S. troops. Adding to the tensions, on December 15, 1890, Lakota leader Sitting Bull was shot and killed by police on a reservation in northern South Dakota. In late December 1890, Lakota Chief Bigfoot began to lead approximately 350 of his followers from the Cheyenne River Reservation to the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation in southern South Dakota. On December 28th, they were met by the 7th U.S. Cavalry under the command of Colonel James Forsyth which numbered close to 500 troops, and they began to escort the tribe to the new reservation. That evening, the Lakota were instructed by the 7th Cavalry to make camp near Wounded Knee Creek, where the cavalry surrounded the camp. The next morning, on December 29, 1890, Colonel Forsyth ordered that the Native Americans turn over their guns to the cavalry. The soldiers began to go through the camp, taking weapons from the Lakota. Now, there are different accounts as to how exactly fighting began, as one report claims some Lakota began performing the ghost dance and then opened fire on the troops, while other accounts claim that one Lakota named Black Coyote, who was deaf, could not hear the order to hand over his rifle, and the troops began to wrestle with him and his gun discharged, causing the troops to open fire. Chaos ensued as troops on the edge of the camp began to open fire with large mounted guns, striking men, women, and children. Being predominantly disarmed, the Lakota had little way to defend themselves as the U.S. troops began shooting. When the smoke cleared, some 150 Lakota, mostly women and children, were dead, along with another 50 wounded, although some estimates have it closer to 300 killed. 25 soldiers were dead as well, although many were believed to have been hit by their own guns mounted outside the camp. A three-day blizzard then hit the site of the massacre, leaving the bodies of those shot down frozen where they lay. 
Following the blizzard, men were hired to bury the dead. With them came photographers that captured the grisly scene at the camp. The incident was first labeled a battle, and some of the U.S. troops were even given medals of honor. But as more accounts of the events were recorded, it became clear that this was a massacre. The massacre brought to an end the ghost dance movement and additionally is considered to be one of the final conflicts between the Plains people and the U.S. government. The incident at Wounded Knee is one of the darkest moments in American history, and a moment in history that should be learned from and never repeated. So with that, hopefully you learned something, and thanks for watching.